Yo, what is going on guys? We are back with another Snail Runner mod review and today we're checking out the MAN TGS 480 6x6. It does come in a 4x4 version, but I thought let's go with the 6x6 for today's review. You guys know what to do. Drop a like on the video. Make sure you drop a sub on the channel. Download link is going to be in the description guys, but if you've already played with this MAN, please tell me what you think. Let's jump into it guys. Alrighty guys, time to customize the MAN TGS 480. This is a 6x6 edition. It is the same price as a 4x4, um, but we're going to check this version out. I'm super excited. It comes out of Ranger's Workshop, and we already know they always turn out absolutely awesome. So we got the MAN TGS D15, MAN TGS D26, or MAN D38. We're going to go with the D38. Gearbox, we got high range, default, and off road. We're going to go with the off road. Suspension, default, or construction power. We're going to go with construction power. The pneumatic construction site air suspension. Full range of tires. I think a lot of these are default. Not all, but a lot. Uh, we're going to go with the chained 44 MHS. Huh, all right. MHS. Uh, three options. This is rear chains, all chains. I don't know. UAD, MHS, or OHD? I like the MHS quite a lot. Alright, winch. We're going to go with uh, extreme powerful. Gageable short round cap snorkel. Gageable all wheel drive. Flatbed, van body, sideboard. Long frame extension. Log carrier front. Loading crane, saddle high, saddle low. Let's go with the saddle low. Exhaust one, DRL lights, front marker lights, front cabin work light, chrome mirror cover, oversized load banner, rear cabin work light, safety sign. No, we don't want to go over all those. Rear work light, flash for bar isn't needed. Man construction bumper or the man bumper. We're gonna keep the construction bumper on. Rims, OHS rims one or two. We're gonna go with the two. Um, I love the camel design. So yeah, we're gonna go with the camel guys. We're gonna pull this bad boy out and see what it can do. Alrighty, first thing we're gonna jump into is interior. Let's start it up. As always with Ranger products, they sound incredible and the gauges and everything work. They light up. The dash looks really nice. Interior is really well done. Honestly, so impressed. There hasn't been a Ranger product I haven't been impressed with either. The mirrors are really nice. It'd be cool if we could get that uh, front mirror, overcap mirror to work, but tomato, tomato. All right, let's see what we're going to do today in SnowRunner. So let's see if we're able to go to... Cosmodrome. Let's see if we're able to do that. Let's grab a trailer. Alright, let's grab a trailer. We're going to take a truck and we're going to haul to the next site. There's a chance we might need something else. So let's just see what we can come up with. Log carrier for the man. Nice. Gooseneck semi-trailer. Heavy duty, low boy. All right, let's go with the gooseneck semi-trailer. And let's uh, activate the ramps, of course. Stop the engine. Let's grab the Hummer. Let's recover. And let's leave the garage. So we're going to take the Hummer with us, guys, in case we need it doesn't hurt but I do know that I'd love to go into another region get like I kind of want to get all the regions that we can unlocked and then from there what we can do is start moving into um, contracts and walkthroughs that is what I would love to do stop engine change truck pack trucks start engine activate ramp I'm excited. This uh, this looks like a good journey, guys. It really does, to say the least. 
let's get the waypoint set here make sure we can go I kind of wonder what it would be like to cross a river and save us a ton of time hmm we're gonna have to make a cross somewhere anyways so we want to make an easy one okay so let's go all the way down here right and then let's see if we're able to ride the outskirt and then we'll cross right here we could try to come up here honestly let's see if that's an option for us engine sounds on this absolutely incredible Well, we're, we're kind of swinging this turn the best we can. Um, it's really awesome that we're able to pack the trucks, but I still worry because we are kind of... The trailer is getting just a little bit tilted here. That's going to be a tough call. Imagine if you could drive like this in the Euro Truck Simulator too, through this kind of stuff. This was kind of the only part I was worried about was getting through this patch so to speak, but I think this truck is more than capable, and if worse comes to worse, we can unpack the Hummer if we really need to, but I'd love to see the truck and the trailer make it all the way through. That would be the goal. Okay, so far we're doing good. We're kind of stuck right now. go a little bit of winch was all we needed let's go and honestly it's just a trailer because it, it's getting hung up so easy and it's just it's digging in its own I really I believe this man is way more than capable to get us where we need to go so I'm, I'm not worried about it I think we're gonna make it I would have been smarter taking a heavy duty low boy. It would have been a shorter wheelbase, a little bit higher. Has a little bit more aggressive trailer tires in its own. It would have helped. That's alright, all we can do is live and learn, guys. Winch the tiny bit we need to to get unstuck from this uh, hole we might have got ourselves a little bit in because of the tree branch. Maybe we should have chose mud tires. Okay, we're almost, let's go. There we go, come on. Keep pushing. There we go. Keep pushing. 
I mean, the truck is handling this well. It, it really is. A lot better than I expected, if anything. Now we're getting into a state again where we're kind of, the trailer's getting hung up a little bit. We're losing traction. Just got to pull over this little bit of a hurdle. That's it. Sometimes in SnowRunner spinning will do you some favors. Not all the time, but sometimes. I am just so impressed with this truck. <laughs> I don't know what I don't know what else to say. All right, guys. So we'll really break it down, though. Um, interior, 10 out of 10. Handling, fuel consumption, exterior quality, 10 out of 10. Uh, this is just knocks it right out of the park. This man is absolutely incredible. I I mean, just look how gorgeous this truck is. It kind of packs everything you need. It really has a lot of options. Um, plenty of options. Too many. The chain tires do amazing. I'm, con I'm surprised that we're doing this well on this ice, honestly. I want to take it a little bit easy because I don't want to hit any damage. We're going to go over some really, really big rocks. Oh, man. What did I... I can't believe we're just pushing that rock. I don't even know what to say at that. Okay. Oh, uh, this is, uh, this is, <laughs> this is really unfortunate. I think all of our axles are hung up right now.
Come on. All right, this, uh, I don't know what the right call is here. Alright, well, this is where we're going to leave the man, but, uh, well, Ian, actually, you know what, we'll see if we can pull it past this. Let's, uh, switch trucks here. Let's get the ramps activated. Alright, we're almost we're almost back. We're gonna get both of these we're gonna get both these rigs safely to the next region. Stop engine, change trucks, pack trucks, and let's activate the ramp. Oh, I broke it. Oh, no, come on. 
this might be uh, this might be where we have to call it with this. Alright guys, this is where we're going to call the, the man review. I know what we need to do. I, I know exactly what we need to do. We need to get something a lot bigger through here. Um, actually, hmm. yeah, we'll do that. We'll get back to this. Uh, we need to get a bigger, like the uh, Kolob or something that can make it through this ice properly. Um, I honestly think if we do that, we will be fine. But I, I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. I could be wrong again. Um, but the wheel base, the height, everything's just a little too low. Now, I honestly thought that the Hummer would be okay because it has such a short wheel base, but um, we're just, all we're doing is digging in here. I don't know how we're supposed to try to get out with the Hummer. That solves it. We'll get back with it. But the man, 10 out of 10, recommend. Download the link is in the description, guys. We're going to grab a collab or something and grab these two trucks and make it through. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you with the next one.